to be autumn for Halloween? Well, I think you need to first decide what autumn is to you. Uh, I certainly think that autumn is a variety of our lovely autumn shades, and uh, you could take that um, scenario to many different looks. Uh, we've uh, done a lovely autumn fairy here, uh, but you could do many looks from autumn. There is a uh, very easy to do autumn uh, toga princess kind of assortment looks. Uh, a toga one would be like an autumn goddess. That would be done very nicely with, um, you know, just a simple sheet around the shoulder and a fun little uh, laurel leaf kind of style uh, autumn hair wreath. Or you could be um, creative and do an autumn queen tire like look and take um, autumn leaves and put them all over a very inexpensive crown and uh, maybe take a sheet and put leaves all over that with some hot glue and uh, um, have yourself a really nice autumn queen or princess, whatever your desire is. But to do a simple autumn fairy, uh, as we have here, you just simply want to go into your closet and find lots of fun autumn colored things that will work great with um, an autumn scenario. And uh, we've got uh, lots of fun stuff. We've got just a basic skirt out of the closet, maybe another skirt that you find either in the thrift store or in the closet you can shred up. Something very easy that you can just do by um, cutting in to it, either with the scissors or shredding it apart, depending on different looks that you would like. Uh, here's just a fun uh, leafy print um, chemise top that we found. Anything would work that's, you know, fun blousey fairy stuff. And off-white cream shirt would be just as easy. You could do the shred thing on that as well. Um, something fun, a vest or some sort in the middle, perhaps some sashes. Whatever your fairy is, there's no uh, wrong and rights when it comes to making fairies. I think uh, we just need to stay in with your theme of being autumn. Of course, uh, you'd want some uh, wing fairies. Um, uh, uh, wings are usually a very important part of a fairy, but not necessarily even that is needed, as uh, some fairies do without wings as well, hence their magic. So, but uh, you wanted to definitely finish off your autumn look, uh, your autumn fairy look, with some fun um, bling or glitter or gems, uh, all easily applied either with just your finger or a brush, whatever you have around the house that'll work just as well, Q-tips, any of those things. You want to add some fun, you know, nail polish color to, uh, you know, give your fairy some uh, fun fingernails. Uh, anything as far as, you know, an assortment of different kind of glitters, of course, can be used all over the body, legs, arms, necks, wherever it is you want um, your glitter from your fairy. You can also apply gems or tattoos. We've applied a tattoo, as you can see, of lovely butterfly and glittered it up. Um, gems can be easily applied with uh, the eyelash glue of any kind. Um, doesn't matter if it's a clear or black, just, you know, a tweezers and... Um, you know, some great gems, and you can glue those on wherever you'd like as well. And the tattoos rub off nice and easy, so those make great, easy, perfect uh, makeup applications for fairies. And then, of course, you'll want to do something fun for the hair. You can always, you know, roll it, tease it, whatever, add some uh, fun decorations to really finish it off. Um, there's flowers. There's all kinds of great things. I'll just go out into the front yard if it's uh, Halloween time, as it is, and, um, you know, pick some wonderful autumn leaves off the ground and whatnot, spray those with some glitter and apply those as well. You can also glue those all over the place. So um, feathers are also another wonderful thing that you could do with fairies, you know, and sticking those anywhere, even on the wings. Don't forget about wonderful feathers. And that is How to Be Autumn.